my channel. If you're new here, my name is Louise. Uh, my channel is a haul most Saturdays and I upload uh, random things in between depending on what's going on in my life at the time. There's no set schedule for the ones during the week. So um, I talk a lot as well. When the camera comes on, I just ramble. So if you like that type of thing and you enjoy today's video, you fancy subscribing down below, go ahead. Um, it's down there that there's a subscribe button down there somewhere um, and be part of our YouTube family and if you click the notification bell you'll be notified of any of the things that I might put up during the week because like I said there's no set schedule to them so today is um, my shopping haul this is gonna take a little bit like I, I talk a lot I've just said that um, and I'm usually ramble on before we even get to the haul so I feel like if it does go too long I'm gonna put some I'll try and remember to put when the haul actually starts in case you have no interest in this bit and you just want to jump to the haul so um, this bit if you're new here would be the bit where I explain uh, my receipts and why I bought things or what shops have gone to so that's the bit you would be skipping if you don't want to um, stay for that bit so <laughs> it's like a, it's just habit now all my stuff's down there so I actually went to three shops today. so okay so if you are new here I normally shop straight from work. Um, I walk to Asda because that's the one I can get to. I go straight from work with my four-wheel trolley. Uh, most of the shops in my area, I would have to um, get public transport. Actually, the public transport don't actually take you there. So it probably wouldn't get public transport unless I was going to get like a cab. Um, or it's, it's a chunk of distance to get to it. So it's not realistic. Uh, so I usually shop in the ones I can get to, which is a very, very small metro, uh, metro, it's a metro Tesco Metro, so it's small, can't do a main shop in that. Uh, the same with Iceland, it's very small, can't do a main shop in that, and the Asda is the only one I can really do the main shop. So we have a £60 budget normally, I actually spent £98.72. Now the reason I went over budget and I was okay about that is because we went to a number of different shops. So my son came with me, because it's, you know, it was what do they call it uh good friday i'm actually hauling this on saturday normally do it on a friday so it, we, we did it all yesterday i'm just hauling it today so um my son and my daughter came with me uh, my daughter drives so she uh took us to some shops that we don't normally go to so we actually went to farm foods aldi and asda i've got a number of items well, some items that are doubled so we sort of taking that off of next week's pattern budget uh you know we won't be spending that next week or the week after whatever uh so we've got multiples of some items uh what else do i need to tell you i feel like this is going to be a two-parter because i do explain an awful lot like i said so total is 98.72 i'm going to show you the as the first numbers are just there there's a pin on top of it i've got to move it so Asda, we spent 34.49. That's what's here. Except if you do it, because I'm going to give you prices to go along. If you add it up, you won't come to that price because I always donate three items to the food bank. I always do it when I'm in Asda because they have a food bank trolley thingy there for you to put it straight in. If I ever want to buy for a food bank and I have to bring it home, it's going to take me weeks to get it into the food bank because it just sits around. It's one of them, you know, I'll go out and realise when I'm out, oh, I forgot it again, you know, so I don't do, tend to do it that way in any other store. This week, the three items were, they're never the same, a uh, tin of potatoes, a uh, tin of rice pudding and uh, female products. Um, my son said I'll get candle for the cancelled for saying that. It was so funny. So I think that was everything. Was that everything? I feel like it. So if there's things in this shop that you're thinking, you know, surely you're not, that that's not going to be a week shopping. You've got farm foods and Aldi isn't here at the moment because it's all in bags all over the place and it's it gets too confusing. I'm very easily confused and we don't want to do that. So this is just the Asda bit. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I'll explain things as we go along. If there was reasons for any of the products I bought, um, I would give you prices as I go along. And if I forget, because I tend to forget things quite regularly, if I forget to give you the price, hopefully I'll pick it up in editing and I will put it on the screen somewhere. 
everything. That's everything, isn't it? I felt like this was gonna take a lot longer. That actually wasn't that bad, was it? Um, so let's get on with the haul. Right, we always start with the fresh. Now, there's some bits that are not here because they've still got like um, things in the, the fridge that haven't gone bad, so I'm not gonna buy it. I don't need cucumber, I don't need tomato. They're usually the things that I would always eat during the week is lettuce, tomato, cucumber, so that's why I mentioned those two things. If I don't need it, I'm not gonna buy it. So, um, because it is Easter, um, weekend their veggies have got really good deals on one thing that i did find though uh, all over my facebook people you know posting oh this is this price here there and whatever potatoes are on the list of things that are supposed to be like anywhere between 15 and 20p depending on what shops you go in i went in now i'm only obviously i can only say to the ones that i went in i went into where did i go into i went into asda and Tesco's, Farm Foods, Aldi. Yeah, that was it. And none of the potatoes were juiced except this one. And it wasn't the cheap, cheap one either. So normally I would get the cheaper packet of potatoes and that is £1.25 for a 2.5 kilogram. This is the more expensive one. This is actually the £1.60 bag. It's supposed to be at a better quality of potatoes, larger ones, you know, that type of thing. It's exactly the same. I looked at both of them, it's exactly the same. But they've reduced this to half price, it was 80p. So it's still a decent deal. I still save some money, but it's not as good as all those deals I've been seeing all over Facebook, which was disappointing because I specifically went in separate shops thinking I could get them for 20p and then I was going to buy a whole like load of it and parboil them and try and do all my you know save money bit but 80p is better than nothing so these were 20p I think you can get them slightly cheaper in other places but as was the place I went first and I we tried not to do a assume that other shops have got it at a better price so that's why I just picked them up. This is still a really, really good price. So the carrots are 20p. Um, we actually got large one. We're not going to eat many of these. Uh, but Corey's trying his best to get me to go out and do something. Um, and he wants to show me the horse we spoke about a few weeks ago. Apparently it's moved and he wants to show me. So we thought we'd take get the large one, 20p. Not a big deal. And we're going to feed the horses with what we don't get eaten. Onions are not on that deal at 95p. I believe these were 70 something the last time I bought them. They're going to last a really, really long time though, because if you, you look back to my videos and when I last bought them, it was a long time. And I still have a few, few onions left. And they're only just starting to go now. Um, so, you know, these do last a very, very long time. The broccoli is 20p actually on a deal again. I just got picked up the one because I probably won't get through an awful lot of that. Um, I'm going to be trying my best to freeze the bits we don't use. Let's not waste anything this time. The iceberg lettuce is 70p. I I'm, I'm, don't know if it... I'm just shocked because they've gone up again or if I'm forgetting the prices because they change so often now. I did pick myself up a Swede, uh, 20p. Now, I tend to stay away from Swede most of the time. It's only really Christmas though, I get it, because it's so hard to cook. Like, peeling it is hard work, especially with fibro. I mean, without fibro, it's hard anyway, as you will know if you've tried to peel a swede. Um, and then cooking it just seems to take forever to, like, get soft enough to mush it up. But I did see somebody did, like, it's called a singing swede. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. I've got to Google it to make sure. I don't know if I prick it or not. That's what I've got to check. And you put it in the microwave and cook it in the microwave and then like you don't peel it or anything so there's no prep work to it I, i'll wash it i'm assuming and then apparently when it comes out you literally peel this off and it's all soft and mushy in the inside so i was for 20p it's worth giving it a go so that's what i'm going to give a go with that one uh we've got asparagus cory loves asparagus at the moment and these are one pound 35 for one bunch or you can get two for two pounds uh parsnips are 20p a bag i mean there's not many in there we were supposed to get two but um i did think i don't know they weren't very good so we thought okay well, we'll get the one so we've definitely got it for the weekend which is what we wanted and then we'll pick them up somewhere else if they've got it on a deal but i think we just forgot honestly um i did have to take some extra tablets and um they didn't react well with me uh, apparently comms don't work very well for me so i was a bit not quite all there for all of it so yeah i don't know what that was about um 
Milk, 4 pint, £1.65. It's standard. That's what it's been for a little while. That should do us. Um, I am going to try my best to make some cakes this weekend for the kids uh, because neither one of them... I mean, Blossom can't have Easter egg uh, because chocolate gives her migraines and Corey's really not bothered, but they both like cakes. So I thought I'll try to make some cakes. It's in the house. I should be okay. Um, we'll see. But if I do, I will record it. Uh, instant coffee, 83p. It's your basic box standard coffee. Um, cheap and nice. It's not, um, it's not a bitter one. It's a very nice one. I picked up another margarine again. Like I said, it, this stuff lasts ages. I mean, this is good till Ju 14th of July, this one. Uh, it's decent. It, it just does the job. And... Um, I can't afford butter anymore. <laughs> it's just way too expensive. I, I'm not paying it for myself. Um, and this is good for baking anyway. So I'm getting good stock of these up. £1.10 for that. Uh, these are Corey's favourite at the moment. They are one pound. Uh, nope, they are 75p each or three for a pound. So he's got the flake, the buttons and the dairy milk this week. I got these for to go on the cakes. I was, you know, the Easter ones, and I was going to get the other ones. I can't think what they're called now. The Cadbury's egg, different coloured shapes. I can't think what it's called. He used to get them in that the other week, uh, but they didn't have it. This is literally all they had. They've hardly got any Easter eggs in there at all. Um, that was a pound, and they're just like Galaxy uh, chocolate. Oh, it's got caramel in it. I didn't realise. I thought it was just chocolate egg shape with a crunchy outside but it's uh, got caramel in it as well but it's rose gold colour I just thought it would look pretty on an egg pound it is it quite expensive but you know uh okay so I needed a uh, softener last week actually I needed it so I did have to do a wash without it but honestly I was in the shop and I tried to open it to smell I'm not buying one that I don't know the smell of and I couldn't get op um, open it and I got frustrated so I put it back and just walked away uh, so I managed to open these but Corey's with me if not and this was the best smelling one uh, it's £3.50 quite expensive 48 washes but I don't buy softener that much we don't really need it for a we don't get through a lot of clean like washing products because we're pretty good with our washing eggs £1.45 that's to go with the uh, making of cakes if I do do them and I found the bio washing powder now if you remember I wanted to get I, I done some research and I've got an issue with my jumpers and they're, they're picking up like oily marks and it's only my jumpers that are doing it I think it's from the liquids I use so um, I managed to find um, non-bio they haven't had the bio anywhere and there was two of these just dumped right next to the bio one so I picked both of them up because they're only £1.75 for the bio one so it's even cheaper than the non-bio so I just want to say if, if you do use this I don't know if it's the same in the liquids as well because I was only researching the powder to see if that would work oh so I did use the non-bio and it didn't get the marks out fully I think it did it a bit so I'm going to try it with the bio now otherwise I'm going to have to jump uh, in the jumpers which is a shame because they're really good i really like my jumpers um so yeah if you use the bio uh, it's not good with colors it will fade your colors apparently so yeah i picked two of those up because it was just they were just the only ones there i haven't seen them for so long in any of the shops that i can get to in my local area um so i just yeah i mean this is fairly cheap anyway there's 45 washes in that for one pound 75 is pretty good uh this one was expensive <laughs> Corey really likes the Chicago town. I like them too. Uh, we've not found one we don't like. So this one is, we've not tried it. I mean, it says it's you new, know, it's five pounds. So normally I would only buy these on a deal, but when the kids are with you, you end up spending more anyway. And I just didn't really care, honestly. Um, so this is the Philly cheesecake. No, it's a Philly cheese steak. That would be weird. Five pounds, it doesn't say on the front. Let me read it to you. Uh, so this is cheese base sauce stuffed crust pizza topped with there's no commas cheese based soft no this will take me a minute cheese based sauce stuffed crust pizza topped with a sour cream cheese sauce mozzarella mature cheddar seasoned beef green peppers and fried onions so we're just going to give that one a go and see what that one's like. I uh, wouldn't normally pay £5. I'd wait until it's on a deal. But like I said, I just didn't really care. 
Um, this is Corey's ready meals that he likes to just shove in the oven during the um, work week because it's just it's just easy. Um, doesn't have to think about it. It just picks a couple of ready meals and some chicken or some potato or something, and that's his meals done. Ninety uh, p. He specifically wanted this garlic bread. I didn't realise that he liked this this type. Um, but he said he really likes it. So uh, this is a pound for two sticks of the garlic bread. And the sausages, now this was a mistake. So I wanted to get some meat-free sausages. As you know, I'm not a fan of meat. I'm not a vegetarian. I'm just not really into meat much. Um, and I needed some sausages. So we picked up the corn ones, which were 250. Then we found these Richmond's. They've only just started putting Richmond's ones in our store. Um, and they said two pound 15. So I said, we'll get the cheaper one. We'll give it a go. It uh, wasn't until I got home and I'm, I was working out the receipt, like I said, Corey bought some bits, so I was taking that off of the, the price of my food shopping, and I realised they scanned through at £4, not £2.15, so I wouldn't have normally bought these at that price, that's really bad, £4 for eight sausages, not encouraging you to not eat meat now, are they? they you get people telling you not to do it, because of the environment and all that rubbish, but yeah, so... You know, hopefully they're really, really good for £4, but I would not pay £4 for them. Uh, if I'd realised, we would have put them back. Um, but neither one of us paid attention to that. We just assumed the ticket was right, which is really stupid. You know, I do this enough. Seen the mistakes enough, I shouldn't fall for it. But I did. So, uh, yeah, that's why we've got those ones. So that's it. That's, that's the Asda part of this week's shop. Uh, like I said, I am going to do this in a two-part for two reasons. One, I don't want it to be too long. I know I have a habit of talking. Um, and two, it's too confusing for my brain right now. I'm dealing with a not, lot of stuff normally and it's affecting... My brain doesn't work normally anyway. You know that by now if you've been here for a while. But um, for me to think about doing it all in one go, it's just overwhelming. So <laughs> I'm just going to do as stuff now. That will give me a time to get it edited and get it up in the right time slot because it is Saturday and it's 12 o'clock and I don't wouldn't normally haul this late in the day even if I was going to do it on a Saturday um so just so I feel comfortable that I've got it up you're having it in a two-parter I don't know which day I'm going to put the second part up I don't know if I'm going to haul it today it depends how the day goes like I said just is what it is at the moment I can't do anything about it I'm not going to I, I beat myself up enough about everything I ain't doing it about this too so it's either going to be up maybe Tuesday possibly I'll attempt for Tuesday if it's not Tuesday it will 100% be on Wednesday um so you'll have part two which will be farm foods and Aldi uh yeah I feel like that's that's the best way I should do this um, I've, I've got this strong feeling I've forgotten something important, but the, really it's a haul. What could be so important that I needed to say it? Um, I am looking at comments. I do want to let you know I am reading your comments. I am, um, that's the best I can do. I am reading them. Sometimes I shouldn't read them because I am taking offence to things that are just not offensive, so it's not the best thing for me. But I, I'm pick, you know, I'm trying to just like look if there's any advice or anything. I should, I, I am finding it too overwhelming right now to even heart a comment, which is makes no sense. I was going to say it's stupid. I've got to stop doing that. I'm trying. I'm trying. Somebody mentioned that that you would thank yourself for doing. I'm trying. I, I, I see. I paid attention. I am trying my best, um, and. Also, Glenda, Glenda, I love you, Glenda. You know I do. I'm, I, I, huh. you know what I'm like. I'm trying my best. Um, but yeah, you're the reason I went to farm foods, and I didn't come out with <laughs> what you suggested. Um, I think it was last week's comments in uh, the hall that you said about cheese and butter. My farm foods didn't have the deal, but I, I, that's why I went there, and we ended up spending like fifty something pound. But that's all Corey. It's not me. So, um, yeah. So I am reading your comments. So I do appreciate the comments down below. Um, when I am in a place that I'm comfortable and I can do it, I'm going to do it. I'm trying my best just not to put more pressure on myself about anything right now. And this isn't even what, where I should be putting this. This is a haul. Stop doing this, Louise. Okay, so this is Saturday. The sun is out. It's a little bit chilly, but the sun is out. So hopefully you're having a lovely Saturday. I am sending good vibes out, as I always do. I hope some of you are catching them. And I will see you next week for part two. <laughs> Bye.